Hello everyone, it's Friday the 4th of September 2020. I'm Jake Morfonios with the Blackstone Intelligence Report. In science news today, Katie Hunt with Cable News Network said that a Russian TV crew flying over the Siberian tundra this summer spotted a massive crater 100 feet deep. They were absolutely struck by its size, its symmetry, and the explosive force of nature that it must have taken to have created that hole. Scientists are not exactly sure how it formed, but it is at least the ninth one that has been spotted in the region since 2013. Initial theories that were floated when the first crater was discovered near an oil and gas field in the Yamal Peninsula in northwest Siberia included a meteorite impact, a UFO landing, and even the collapse of a secret underground military storage facility. While scientists now believe the giant hole is linked to an explosive buildup of methane gas, which could be an unsettling result of warming temperatures in the region, there is still a lot the researchers just don't know. Evgeny Chuvalin, lead research scientist at the Skolkovo Institute of Science and Technology Center for Hydrocarbon Recovery, who has visited the site of the newest crater to study its features, said this, quote, Right now, there is no single accepted theory on how these complex phenomena are, are formed. It's possible they've been forming for years, but it's hard to estimate the numbers, since craters usually appear in uninhabited and largely pristine areas of the Arctic, there is often no one to see and report them. Permafrost, which amounts to two-thirds of the Russian territory, is a huge natural reservoir of methane, which is a potent greenhouse gas, and recent hot summers, including in 2020, in the region may have played a role in creating these craters. Chuvalin and his team are among the few scientists who have been down inside one of the craters to investigate how it was formed and where the gas that causes them comes from. Accessing the craters has to be done with climbing gear. There's a limited window because the craters turn into lakes within two years of being formed. With the Urkuta crater, the scientists' model suggested that it formed in a dried-up lake that probably had a zone of unfrozen soils that started freezing gradually after the lake had dried out, building up the stress that was ultimately released in a powerful explosion, a type of ice volcano. Quote, Cryovolcanism is, as some researchers call it, a very poorly studied and described process in the cryosphere, an explosion involving rocks, ice, water, and gases that leaves behind a crater. It's a potential threat to human activity in the Arctic. We need to thoroughly study how gases, especially methane, are accumulated in the top layers of the permafrost and which conditions can cause the situation to go extreme, said Chuvalin. Cryosphere refers to the portions of the Earth's surface where the water is in solid form, ice. Chuvalin said, These methane emissions also contribute to the rising concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and climate change itself might be a factor in increasing cryovolcanism, but this is still something that needs to be researched. An alternative theory proposed by Internet pundits is that the holes are gateways to the Devil's Underground, where a legion of underworld fallen angels are bound with chains, awaiting the day that they'll be released to afflict mankind in a horrifying apocalyptic war of blood and sorrow. I'll just have to leave that to you to judge. Make sure to visit our online store for the latest Team Blackstone gear, including ball caps, t-shirts, and more. Go to blackstoneintel.com today. Thank you all for watching. For the Blackstone Intelligence Network, I'm Jake Morfonios. If you appreciate hard-hitting investigative journalism that you won't get from the mainstream media, then please support Jake's research and analysis at patreon.com forward slash endtimesnewsreport, paypal.me forward slash endtimesnewsreport, or send a check or money order to Jake Morfonios, P.O. Box 1333, Kernersville, North Carolina, 27285.